So I've not really featured many watches on this channel that come from AliExpress. Uh, I've actually never purchased a watch from AliExpress. I've never really been on AliExpress to buy anything. Uh, and recently it was my first time trying it out. I was told by a representative from AliExpress to choose a couple of watches to do a review for on 1111. I chose two watches. One is sort of a hit, one is a miss. I'm gonna be doing two separate videos for those watches. Um, and this is the first watch I'm gonna show you. This is a OBLVLO. I'm not gonna even try to pronounce it. I wasn't able to pronounce it. Um, it was a little bit confusing. AliExpress is a little bit confusing. It could be because I am old. I don't know if that's the case, but I wasn't able to actually tell exactly what I was looking at. Uh, there was all different colorways and combinations. It was hard to actually figure it out. Again, that could be because I am old, but uh, I think it is a little bit confusing. Uh, but here is the watch. It came in a sort of a nice box with magnetic closure. It's sort of, uh, uh, you know, felt lined. It's not a bad box. And then it came with a uh, booklet. It came with a polishing cloth. And then, of course, a warranty card. All considered, the price especially, this is really not that bad of packaging. Uh, but here is the watch. Now there was a specific reason why, or two specific reasons why I chose this watch. One is because it is a Roger Dubuis homage. And you can see that in the case design, the actual bezel, the lug design, this is all Roger Dubuis design language. And I know that because I own a Roger Dubuis, this is the Roger Dubuis Easy Diver. Uh, very expensive watches. They don't make these anymore. Uh, in fact, what they basically did was for their Excalibur lineup of watches, they sort of um, made the uh, lug width a little bit smaller than their dive watch. Um, and this is basically what you're getting. This is what a current Roger Dubuis would look like. They start in the neighborhood of around $80,000, I believe. Um, so obviously an homage kind of makes sense. They are very expensive. The second thing that drew me to this watch was the micro rotor. And unfortunately, that is actually not a micro rotor. This dial, actually all of the gears and the micro rotor are non-functional. And I wasn't actually able to tell that from the website. And it kind of does make sense when considering the price on this. And I think it's around $250 to $260. And I think you can get even more money off of that for $1111. Now, let me show you how this watch is actually powered because it is not powered by that micro rotor. That is just an oscillating weight that just freely moves around. No gears are actually moving here. There is an open heart there at around the eight o'clock. That open heart is uh, actually for the movement because this does get a mechanical movement. It gets a Miyota movement that you can see from the back. Now you can see the Miyota movement. It is an eight series. It's an unsigned uh, movement here. Let me get this off so I can show you. Uh, it is an unsigned movement. This is a large watch also. So you can see that the movement actually looks pretty small when compared to the rest of the watch and it's bi-colored as well. So you get red and black. So this is sort of red and black PVD. The dial is also in black and red. So there's black and red all over. And then the hands are in black and red as well. It's a little bit hard to read. However, if you like the look of this watch, I don't think it's a poor quality. I just think it's a little bit busy. Now let's do measurements because it is not small. And I'm gonna show you my Roger Dubuis that I have on my wrist as well. So. 47 over 47 millimeters so it is a very big watch with that big crown that it gets it's nearing you know 52 millimeters it is large it's a very very large watch it's going to wear large on your wrist especially since they add all this extra dial compo uh, components so it makes it a thick thick watch you get a sapphire crystal on here it is also dome, but it's almost 16 millimeters thick. I don't think you are getting much water resistance either because um, you do not get a screwed in crown. You do get a screwed in case back, but the crown is not screwed in. It is a large crown at 9.3 millimeters. Um, so the lug to lug, the lug to lug on Roger Dubuis are large in general because of the uh, design of the lugs themselves. It's large on this. You can't get articulating uh, straps on here. They have to be molded to the actual uh, case because of the design of lugs. You have three lugs on here, and that's the reason why. I believe this is actually screwed in. Now, this is a large lug-to-lug -lug of almost 60 millimeters. This is 59 millimeters. 
um, and then the lug to lug on the actual case, but you will never ever be able to get that. It's 56. Point three because like I said, you can't get a strap that actually would fit that. Um, the case design is very interesting. Again, in keeping with that Roger Dubuis sort of theme, sign crown, uh, you have uh, like hollowed out areas throughout the case. Uh, a very interesting looking watch, but unfortunately I wish that micro rotor was actually functioning. I think by now we have that functionality, even at low price points to have a functioning micro rotor, maybe some, you know, some functioning gears on the front. Uh, but then again, it would be a lot more expensive. Would I wear this watch? Probably not. I have to be honest with you guys. It is an interesting looking watch, as I mentioned. The strap is actually really nice. It is a leather lined and embossed leather strap. You have these bumps on the on the leather. I don't know if it's uh, picking up on the camera very well. And then, of course, the underside is signed as well. They sort of do a little bit of a Roger Dubuis theme here. Uh, again, like Roger Dubuis, they sign it all the way around the case back. It's screwed in. It's stainless steel on the case back. Uh, red to match the case on the crown. Uh, very heavy taper on the on the strap. Again, I really do like the strap. And then you have a, uh, a, a PVD coated, which I assume is a PVD coated buckle. I don't think it's DLC coated on here. Uh, and let me just put it on my wrist really quickly so you guys can see. But like I said, today I'm wearing my Easy Diver. This is a, I believe, 300 meter dive watch. You have small seconds there. This is a ceramic bezel. One of the really, it has some excellent bezel action on it, especially considering it's just a solid piece of ceramic. This is called the Black Swan. Uh, and the reason why they call it the Black Swan is because it has a ceramic bezel on it. Um, this is a uh, really interesting strap on here. Again, you get that sort of theme of signing throughout the whole entire back. That's what Roger Dubuis do. This is a solid piece of ceramic as well. Uh, that's all in-house. This gets a Geneva seal. This is like a $20,000 diver when it was new. You can get them for around $7,000, $10,000, depending on the model. This is extremely limited edition. That's why I think it's limited to like 36 or 38 or something like that. So, um, but you can see side by side. Sorry, I'll just show you very quickly. Uh, they're very similar in size. I think this is a 30, uh, excuse me, a 46 millimeters, a 47 millimeter. Um, and you can see the similarities in the design, especially the crowns are very similar. The lugs, uh, the design of the lugs and sort of layout of lugs are, are very similar. Uh, the case is a little bit different on here because it's, like I said, an earlier model from them and they no longer make it. This is something that uh, Roger Dubuis kind of currently make and it is an homage of one of their current watches. So there you go. On my seven and a half inch wrist, you can see it wears very large. This is not small. You do get a dome sapphire crystal. It is 15.9, uh, basically 16 millimeters thick. Uh, the red and black look really good. Um, and it looks good when you have it on your wrist. Unfortunately, like I said, I wish that was a functioning rotor and some of the gears were functioning. Um, that would have been a little bit cooler. Let's quickly do a loom shot. And like I said, it's $250. I have a link in the description to the watch. So if you are interested in it, definitely check it out. You know, bezel does not rotate, by the way. Uh, it's notched. Everything feels really nice. It's nicely finished. Um, but like I said, I think that's a little bit of a miss there. Um, I think that they should have definitely uh, made something functioning on that front uh, dial portion of the watch. So very quickly, a loom shot, and then we'll wrap up the video. So very little loom on here. Obviously, because the hands... Uh, our loom, that's basically it. It's not even very liberally applied with loom. But for $250, I guess, they put a lot of other things on the dial. It makes it more expensive, I guess. But they should have put more loom maybe on the indices somewhere. There's little screws here. Maybe just add a little loom near that or on top of them. I don't know. Uh, it would have been a, a little bit nicer. I think this one, like I said, there was a hit and a miss. This is the miss. Um, I, I probably should have not asked for this watch. That's kind of my fault. Uh, but there is a hit and there is one watch that I'm going to show you from AliExpress that I actually think is pretty damn cool. That's the uh, next video that I'll be doing. Uh, and it is actually pretty awesome. And it's an homage, but not a direct homage. Uh, not like this. And we'll talk about that in just uh, in, in, in the next video, actually. Uh, but tell me what you guys think of this watch in the comments below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel. I very much appreciate it. 
Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Watch Chris Blog. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.